Hey, what's up, guys? You want to make some money? You a bust. No, like, there's decent money this week. Alright, well, I'm lying, sort of. You want me in your face? No. Then get out of mine. Well, alright, but... Hey, guys, just drunk. relax. Come with me. You we'll make some money this week. Look, it's real, see? See? Look, calm down. Hey, hey, hey. Hey guys, Mr. Horsington here. These guys didn't really want to listen to me, but maybe you will. We have some pretty decent deals this week, I guess. If you were stacking cash last week during Overtime Rumble. If you weren't, though, it might be a little bit hard to make some money as a new player this week. Whatever the case, this is the guide, and basically all mobile operations missions are double money and RP. You can also sell your bunker for two times the money that it's normally worth. Uh, the mobile operations missions, you'll get a, a bonus $100,000 if you play just once. So that actually comes out to be pretty good money for the minute. You'll see that Rockstar was also nice enough to give us a free Warstock hat this week, which I'm sure we all really care about. And double rewards in the survival series, which you'll see is also terrible. On the podium, however, is the Declass DR1, which is an Indy car that is several million dollars, so that's decent. Now, on top of getting double money for a bunker sale, the bunkers themselves are 40% off. Bunker modifications are 30% off. So if you have a bunker or can get in one pretty quickly, this might be a decent week for you. Mobile operations centers are 40% off, and the customizations are 35% off. There are a few vehicles that are on sale too, but for the most part, they're the same vehicles that have been on sale the last month. But for right now, we'll look at the Prime Gaming benefits, and it looks like you will receive $200,000 for playing any time this week, which has been going on for a while. The Vespucci Canals nightclub location is free, so if you're a Prime member, that's an amazing deal. You can also get 40% off the Yosemite Rancher or 70% off the Declass Drift Yosemite. One thing you'll need to do though, even if your account was already linked, is to relink your Prime account with your Rockstar Social Club account if you want to keep receiving the benefits. It's pretty easy to do though, you just go on to Prime Gaming and make sure you have all three of the green checks by your accounts. Let's go ahead and check out the deals though, and the nightclub over here at Vespucci Beach is the one that's free. It's normally 1.3 million, and it's completely free. It will help you get passive income, so that's definitely something to do if you can. The, the Class Drift Yosemite is on sale for 392000 if you don't have the trade price unlocked, which is still a pretty good deal. I think that's 80% off. The Yosemite Rancher is a Benny's car, so you'll need to buy it, and then the conversion, I think, is what is 80% off. It's a truck that you can basically customize from a street thing to an off-road thing. And then in Legendary Motorsport, we have the exact same cars that we've been seeing for pretty much all eternity. Nothing new, just there's the Swinger, then the 190Z, and then we have... Explosions outside, Lampadotti, the Svestra, the Rapid GT, Toreo, some gunshots, Infernus Classic, and we have the Mamba. Mamba's a great car. Sterling GT, the Z Type, and the one new one this week is a super old car, but the Pegasi Infernus is somewhere around 40% off. Anyway, we'll go to the MOC missions, which you have to have the MOC for, and you have to have a bunker to have the MOC. And the missions here, as you can see, are double rewards on everything. And those missions unlock the trade price on the, all the vehicles that are in those missions. Anyway, let's have a look at the MOC. Uh, so the Phantom is 735000 this week, and the Hauler is 840000 which is a pretty good discount. And there are some reasons to own these trucks besides just having the MOC, but you can do a lot of things to it, like you can put a living quarters, command center, and all that is 35% off as well. You could have a weapons workshop, or you could have a combined weapon and vehicle workshop as well. 
Then don't forget about the living quarters. So this is the Phantom, and one thing about both of these trucks is that they're actually super resilient. So if you get chased down by a griefer, you might be able to survive, because take a look. About 12 shots. I think sometimes people get more or less, but... They're not a bad vehicle to have if you just want to drive a semi-truck around or have something that's kind of like an insurgent. Um, so what this is, is the MOC missions themselves, and this is Data Breach, which is the Mark I, and you can see everybody just leaving. So it was kind of hard to find a couple people that wanted to do the mission. And then when you actually get them and you know, you're know you moments away from the finish, you can't really expect it to go right so if it does take you 15 minutes to get the money for this there's a little bit of a gamble that things are going to go right as well but if you are successful you'll end up with about twenty-five thousand dollars from this and since you get a bonus 100k that means you can get a grand total of about hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars in 15 minutes so it's at least worth doing once. So hopefully you were stacking up cash from last week because it was pretty easy to get for a new player. And then maybe you can combine it with this week's money and buy yourself a bunker. Because if you can get a hold of a bunker this week, it's the absolute best time. This one here is going for 1.2 million. This one's going for 1.2, 1.4. This one's 870,000. That's pretty cheap. The one in Polito Bay, I don't really recommend, but it is only 700,000. The one that I have over here is the Route 68 bunker, which is at 1.1 million. And I love this bunker because it's right in the middle of the map. Like if you're getting supplies or you're selling, you're always pretty much the same distance from everything. So the bunker itself has renovations that are 35% off, so you can get a personal quarters in there, you can get a shooting range, some other customizations, and you can also change the golf cart that you can drive around in there. Which is kind of a waste of money, but it's funny because a lot of people love driving them around and honking the horns. I'm definitely one of those people. Anyway, I decided to find a nice safe lobby full of 26 people to sell my weapons in. It's funny because the weapons were ready yesterday and I decided I would hold for another night and see if they would double in value. And sure enough, they're worth 2.1 million today. So they definitely did. Anyway, selling in a huge lobby is always a big gamble, but it's one that I usually end up taking because I got two and a half million dollars off of the sale. And if you just saw, it said it was gonna be 2.1. So because of the extra risk I took, I got 400,000 extra dollars, which I don't always recommend this, but at the same time, that's pretty hard to resist. Another big reason to get a bunker is because of the nightclub. In this category of sporting goods is actually the weapons. And so you can hire five people to work in your nightclub. So in the long term, you do want to get a bunch of the other businesses going. And with the sporting goods, you'll actually be able to make between $5,000 and $7,500 an hour. It kind of depends on how you do the math for you know what it's worth, but it's definitely going to create passive income if you get that nightclub, which is also free if you have Twitch Prime. And the nightclub also has a safe that you can collect money from occasionally, and the max is $75,000. I just got $44,000. So anyway, let's go check out the survival mode and see why it's so terrible. Just hit the start button, go to online, and then go to jobs and play job. Rockstar created, find survivals, and it's any one of these. They're all double rewards. My favorite is the boneyard though. I like going there. And we can see here, basically what it is, is you just shoot waves full of people kind of like zombies and this is also another reason to get the bunker is eventually you can get this thermal scope on your sniper rifle which can also get explosive rounds that are going to be pretty legit anyway survival is just shooting a bunch of guys basically until you die Ass 
Now you end up using quite a bit of ammo in this, so that's definitely something to factor in. And you'll see, you always fail the survival, and this wasn't that great of an attempt, but still 12,000, mm, yeah, not very good. And yeah, is it a net loss? We don't know. You gotta factor in the ammo cost, and eh, I would just do it for the, the practice, pretty much. Anyway, we can't forget about the weekly races, because they're both 101,000 each. This is the Bandito race, which is kind of in the canal area. It's kind of tight, there's lots of traffic, and there's a few corners like that that are kind of tricky. There are a lot of open areas though, so it's not the worst race, but I usually do hops before the bridges, kind of keep the momentum going better. pretty much just want to take a few laps that you're not really trying to win the race you just are studying the track and you'll probably be successful in not too many tries now these larger bumps over the bridges I usually just jump off of because the little hop doesn't get you over it quite enough When you turn down into this area, it's going to look deceiving like there's a corner, but this is just one really long straight stretch right here. And a sharp corner at the end. This is probably one of the trickier areas, as there's poles, there's people, there's potholes, and all kinds of things to get in your way. Be careful about traffic coming out onto the street here, sometimes it's worse than that. And you'll be able to make about 102,000 in 10 minutes, which that's pretty good. If you need to restart the race, you can just finish it, get the extra thousand and it will respawn you right back where you started. Which is a little bit different than the land race because that requires you going across the entire map. This is the land race, this is where it ends over here at this airport. It starts at the observatory over here. And this is what a winning run looks like. On this race, you're going to want to be doing wheelies and leaning forward and trying to stay as low to the ground as you can the entire time because it's actually a pretty tricky race. This area is key. You want to go down this little valley here and hit the road gap. And this area is marked on the radar actually. It's a little canyon. You go through the canyon, stay to the right here get past the stop sign and the trees, get into this canyon, keep it pinned, and there'll be a jump up here on the road, and you want to try to stay to the right, yep, just like that, keep it low to the ground, keep it on the wheelies, try not to get too much air, and pan up on your view as you get into this area, and look for that little cutout right there. Get back on the road and then the next move will be cutting through the airport. Now this is the Bati 801 that we used last week which only cost $15,000. It never needs to be on sale so if you're a new player this motorcycle is like the best vehicle that you can get. And the reason why is because you can use it to generate income pretty much instantly. It also isn't going to set you back like a million or two million or whatever. But once you get out of this straight, you want to be doing the wheelies and you want to be doing leaning forward. The wheelies, I think you get a little bit of a glide effect, so try to do that if you can, but you also can't steer if you want a wheelie. Right at this corner, you're going to want to cut through these poles, miss the motorcycle, or whatever might happen to be there, and you're pretty much home free.
And as always with the races, you'll get about $102,000. It might take 20 minutes or three years, so the reset button is Y. And when you press it, it will put you right back at the start. So it makes it so you don't have to drive all the way across the map. So once again, if you're a new player, get the Bati 801. It's $15,000 and you're going to need a garage to put it in. So I recommend the one that's by the cash factory. Garage is on the left and the cash factory is on the right. So basically in the future, you'll be able to spawn in to your cash factory and sell immediately. This is the garage by the Grand Sonora Desert, and it will only cost you $25,000. So, anyway, let's go on to the casino, because, you know, there's a car in there that's worth a few million. And sometimes, if you are lucky enough, you might win it. This week is this car right here. That's what it looks like. And it normally costs about $3 million, so that's going to be a good day for you if you get it. So we talked about how this week is pretty much bad for brand new players. It's good for you if you have a bunker, so I thought I'd do another Lampadati GT sale. This is the entire thing uncut. And it only takes 42 seconds because it spawned right outside of Los Santos Customs. And all I did was just drive it in. After I called the cops off, of course. Why, hello, how you doing? How can I help? Who's got eyes? No problem. I'll get him off your back. What miracle did you want me to perform? So basically that came down to $9,500 in 42 seconds. So that's not too bad. Now something similar to this is the Simeon missions where you can get a croquette like this and you can respray it and deliver it to him. He'll send you a text that has all the cars on it. These missions can give you a fair amount of money too. On this one I was able to get around $20,000 in maybe 5 minutes. It kind of depends on how quickly they spawn for you. So if you're a brand new player this week, you might be standing around for a while trying to figure out what to do. But in any case, get a bunker and do as many sales as you can. Stack the cash up all week and get ready to buy again on Thursday.